Um, we talk about family and, uh, and football. Um, let's talk about one of the... It still bewilders me how this transfer even happened. Um, well, it's a free transfer, obviously, but um, the whole Sol Campbell... I mean, how, when, what were you... <laughs> Firstly, can we just take a moment? Sol looks older than you in this picture, after. <laughs> You look about 35, man. Great. <laughs> OK, I heard rumours of it's round your house, it's in the garden, it's your arm around the shoulder, there's a couple of glasses of wine going on. Tell us the truth. Uh, well, that's half right, as a matter of fact, Dermot. <laughs> in fact, what happened was it took quite a while to convince Sol, as you can imagine. Sol is a very deep-thinking boy, and you can't get to in, into his head very easily because I think he's worried about certain friendships and I you know I, I had to make sure that he was comfortable and it took time I just we had to give him time to make up his mind and meanwhile I knew there were a lot of other clubs in for him as you can imagine because he was going to be a free transfer and it was true it took most of it took place late at night early morning about one o'clock in the morning walking around my garden in Totteridge because he was paranoid that he was going to get busted by, by, by the paparazzi. So the only way he, it was, he laid down the rules. He said, look, um, I want to meet, you know, midnight or one o'clock. And we would just walk around the garden, just shooting the breeze, talking about whatever we wanted to. But I'm get, trying to get to know him. And in fact, there was occasion once, and the conversation went on until about 2 a.m. We nearly got busted by my own son, Gavin. <laughs> who actually, as Sol was going to leave, he walked in. He'd just been out to a nightclub or something, and he walked in. And he looked at both of us, and he said, fancy breakfast? <laughs> and, I think, and Sol said, yes, please. And, uh, and he made us French toast or something. So we, there we are. Arsene, did you push for this, or were you... Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, the, 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 real, the real miracle of this defence is a, we have uh, Jens Lehmann here tonight, who there were characters, you know, Lauren uh, characters, Colo Touré who is here, Saul Campbell and Ashley Cole. But this defense did cost less than five million. I mean, that deserves a round of applause. And, and uh, no, what I mean, it is a miracle. Sure. Because all, each one of them was worth a fortune, you yeah. know. And, uh, that's a miracle of this, this team. They had the individual quality, they were intelligent, and they had the character. Plus, of course, uh, we had an unbelievable midfield with Vieira, Gilberto, Ljungberg, oh. Pires. And uh, so they were amazing. But this was really, this defense was put together. We walked with Saul Campbell in Totteridge in the dark to convince <laughs> him, but uh, <laughs> it was not easy, like David said. Um. I have to tell you some funny story, sorry, just to interrupt you there a minute, Dermot, that when it came to the great day of unveiling Seoul at our training ground, we stage managed it, nobody knew about it, so the press even didn't send their number ones, they sent their second stringers sort of along, I think they were th thinking we were signing somebody else, and we got Seoul, it was rather theatrical, because I love theatre, so it was rather like this, you can imagine, we had a curtain, and Seoul was behind the curtain in an Arsenal outfit. And all of a sudden, right, when it got announced, and we'd like to announce our new signing, the curtain opened, and there was Sol in his Arsenal kit. And one of the journalists, who happened to be a Spurs fan, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know whether Martin Lipton's here, but he, from, right, he said, F me, it's he, Sol Campbell. And then, of course, I love humour, so I had to say, <laughs> of course, as we all know, Spurs came from Spurs. Had he come from Dover, we'd have had Dover Soul. <laughs>